Fatty liver. When a patient comes to you with an ultrasound report of a fatty liver, you should think about a certain things. Whether it's, this is an associated metabolic syndrome, in the, in the sense, if the patient is obese or if the patient has got diabetes, then we should uh, think about that this patient can go in for problems. So we should evaluate these patients. So we primarily we need to check the liver function test. That is, if the liver function is abnormal, then we should evaluate further. We have to rule out two viruses which can produce fatty liver and liver damage that is hepatitis B and hepatitis C. So we need to check for that. The other thing is whether this patient is go, already has gone for a cirrhosis. So we have a newer test called MR elastography wherein we do an MRI and categorically we can do the entire liver screen and say whether this patient has got an early cirrhosis or just fatty liver. So if the patient is not an alcoholic then we have to think about all these things if the patient is of course alcoholic then it is little more easier so the blood tests and all these things can show that whether the patient has got got uh, uh, alcoholic steatohepatitis hepatitis or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. hepatitis so if the patient has got uh, early fibrosis then we should be very careful in telling the patient that we should first he has to control his blood sugar or if he has obese, he has to reduce the weight by exercise and dietary modification. These are two very important things. Patient should, if the patient has got 80 kgs, he should reduce 10% of his weight by uh, in three to six months time. That's the basic idea of uh, controlling the NASH or non-alcoholic state of hepatitis. Along with that, if the patient has got dyslipidemia or if the cholesterol is high, we should treat that. So. These are the things which you should uh, be careful in when you diagnose a patient with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease.